the Duke of Sussex was photographed looking distraught as he was driven into Balmoral on Thursday. The prince arrived after Buckingham Palace broke the news of the Queen's death to a devastated nation. Harry had decided to fly on his own up to Scotland on a Cessna private jet, while other royal family members flew earlier on in Raf de Sioux Falcon jet. He was the last to arrive, but the first to leave the following morning, suggesting tensions are still high between the Duke and his family. Dan Wooten urged the Duke to put aside his grievances with his close family. He argued it would be the most fitting tribute he could make to the memory of his beloved grandmother. Writing in his Daily Mail column, Mr. Wooten said, If the life of Elizabeth II has taught us one thing it is that blood is thicker than water. For that reason, this death of a public figure has brought us closer to our own families in so many ways as we memorialize lost loved ones who somehow seem to share an intrinsic connection to the Queen. That's why I can't shake the sadness. I feel that she leaves a divided family, with those open wounds exposed to the entire world as she passed away at Balmoral yesterday afternoon. Surely now, with a nation united in grief, Prince Harry will be able to put his differences with his blood relatives aside for the good of the institution for which his grandmother gave so much. Indeed, the greatest tribute the Duke of Sussex could pay to the late Queen is to reconcile with King Charles and Prince William. Thank you.